Well, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. Sorry, I've been missing in action. There's been quite a bit going on. Um, but we'll get into that in a bit. I just want to, um, Betsy wants to say hello. <laughs> she hasn't been on in a long, long time. Huh, sweet girl. Well, this is Betsy, the Tobias Skull. She was reborn by Lori Duncan, Pixie Mountain Creations. I've had her for, I think, about three years now. And today is a special, special, special day. And the very first special of the day. It's late in the day, sorry. I've been busy, busy. But um, as we're doing a twinning video with Noah and Annetta at Anne May's Lovely Place. And uh, she mentioned us on her video and I thought, oh, you know what? We can twin and get things, get outfits that, you know, sort of match, but we have the same sculpt. So our little sisters are going to twin up for y'all today. She made her video already, but I got so busy um, today, I was unable to get it up. So this is going to post on Saturday. <laughs> so I'm going to get up and show you what I'm going to dress her in. And uh, we'll get started changing her. Right? Want to change? Can I hold your bunny? Look at the pretty bunny. Look at the sweet bunny. Oh, I love her bunny. I love the bunny. Oh, I love that bunny. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Hi, my baby. Oh, my sweet girl. Oh, my sweet girl. Yes. Oh, my sweet baby. Yes, I miss coming in here. I'm going to have to scoot that down so we don't bonk your head. Okay, so as you can see, we have a new changing area here today. We will see how long my feet and my back withstand this. And let me, I have the camera turned around, so I've got to make adjustments because I can't see what you're looking at. Okay, so, excuse me. Uh, we have a cute little butterfly dress and my bow has been smushed. It's got a little pink bow in the middle at the uh, waist. So it just has long sleeves with a cream background with a bunch of different colored butterflies in pink and blue and green and goldish yellow. It's a very odd color. I had a very hard time trying to find socks to match. But this is what this looks like. And then this is the little headband. It is, um, it's got like a, gosh, teal, brown, blue, pink, rose, I don't know, colored roses on a little stretchy band. And then, we're going to use, I believe, these shoes. We were trying to match Noah's shoes. So it's more of this color, I think. And then I have three pairs of socks and I don't know which one. I have this one, but see, oh. now these colors go, but as you can see in the shoe, it's kind of like a high top like. So you won't see much, but the green that'll match that butterfly, which was very hard to match. Or I have these little cream socks with these little booties that have fuzzy all over it. I don't know how I got all this hair. It looks like my hair. Ah, uh, look at this. We're not gonna wear these. I gotta, we gotta get the hair off that. Okay, so I think we're gonna try those little owl socks first. Put those over there. I don't think we'll use that. Let me put this hair in the trash over here. I'm out of breath because I was kept having to go back and forth. I'm hoping that the lighting is good. I can show you my goofy little setup I have. <laughs> um, to put the light on her. So hopefully it comes out better in the video. But we're going to take her out of this little blue, blue and white striped dress. 
Love these chunky legs. Love these chunky legs. Pretty girl. Looks like you got a hair on your eyelashes. What is this? Do you have bottom lashes? Yeah, they got kind of bent up. You need to get a... What is this? Oh, that's your hair. There we go. Goodness gracious. You got hair in your eye. I need to get a Q-tip and wet those down. We need to wet your eyelashes down. They're kind of in your eye. Yeah. Goodness gracious. You want to hold your bunny? Well, you can't hold your bunny. I got to undress you first. Oh, you don't have a onesie on? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, my goodness. You don't have a onesie on? Girl, I'm going to have to find one. Well, that button was hard to do. Let's go this way. There we go. There we go. And you have a Christmas diaper. Well, I thought I was all prepared. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, so the diapers are over there. I guess I could run over there and grab one. Change this Christmas diaper. And we need to get a onesie. Does this have its own slip? Or, yep, it's, it's your own slip. Get your hand out of there. Without losing your bracelet there. Where are you? Ooh, almost lost it. We almost lost your bracelet. Almost. Yeah. There you go. Get over those ears. There you go. Okay. And sit down. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi, my baby. Hi. Okay, let's get you um let's get you another diaper. And oh my. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna put that, we'll put that right there. I'm gonna have to move Kenley out of the way so I can get to the onesies. Oh, sorry, guys. Goodness. Let me just grab something here. All right, let's see. Nope, that's got a collar. That won't work. Uh, these sleeves will go down. Daddy's girl. Okay, that'll work. Damn it. What do I have? We could put this one under it. Ooh, that looks gigantic. Six months? What is six months doing in the three month drawer? Oh my goodness. Well, I can't use that. Oh, we got some onesies in here, man. Where's all the onesies? What is this? Oh, that has a collar. Can't we don't we don't want a collar. Oh, um, well, silly D. Okay, let's just, let's, we're going to use this. Let me come over here and, uh, maybe. <laughs> like I said, you're not going to believe the setup I have. It's kind of a, a obstacle course with my little fat self. Let me see if I can get over here. Got to move Nanny out of the way. Come here, Miss Nanny. Be keeping an eye on them boys. Your name and how it plays you and so on. What's that? What's Nanny's name? Ooh, Nanny, 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 Alice, Alice. Yep, that's Alice. Remember Alice that I got at the Kansas Doll Show? Oh, Kenna, you're heavy, especially straight off the ground. I'm gonna pay for that. Okay, we're going to use Mickey Mouse diaper. Let's take this one off. This is Christmas. We don't want Christmas. No more Christmas. No more Christmas. Okay. So, should we tell them about our wonderful day? Okay, surprise number two. Today is CJ's birthday. For those of you that have been around for a while with me, I remember CJ, I had the kids when they stayed with me on my videos with me, which they no longer are here. 
and I don't see them as frequently as I want. Wow, what size diaper is this? Ugh, it doesn't, doesn't barely fit. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. We might have a leakage. Goodness, I might have a leakage. Oh gosh, this diaper's not big enough. Uh, we're just gonna make it work, huh? Yeah, we just make it work just for a minute. You won't feel it, will you? Anyway, today is CJ's birthday. He's nine years old. So, also today was the um, AB Honor Roll Award Assembly, and I got to go. I was so excited. So excited, and oh, bless my heart. Oh my gosh, did I have the greatest blessing today. Oh, I've been on cloud nine for hours. Of course, I had to sleep because... <laughs> I had to take a nap when I got home. I couldn't sleep last night. I was so anxious about, you know, because I'd never been there. Didn't know where to park. Didn't know where the uh, gym was, where the assembly was being held. Wasn't sure how to get in and out of the school. I get real nervous. So, yeah. I was a bit anxiety driven there. So, I got there in advance early. Yay me. <laughs> I got there at 9 o'clock. So I sat in the car for about 10 minutes. And, um, hey sweetie. And waited to go in because it wasn't supposed to start until 9.20. So I go in and I'm standing in line. And this one lady, I swear, standing at the desk going on and on and on and on. And the line grew and grew and grew. Well, then this one man comes in and he says, oh, no, here, come on. So he walks up and opens the door and so we all go in. Well, they told me when I called, be sure to have your ID. I didn't have no ID. Heck, we just followed him in there. Hmm. So I got there and we sat there and he wasn't in there yet. And um, there's a group of tumblers there. We got us a little show. <laughs> And here they come, and he spots me. Man, I have not seen the biggest smile on that child in so long. Oh, my gosh. He was so excited. It was, oh, man. It touched my heart. Oh, my gosh. It was very hard not to cry. I didn't cry. I didn't. And he just smiled, and I smiled, and took his picture, and... Yeah, so I'm real proud of him. This is the nine-week assembly for the AB Honor Roll. He's been on the Honor Roll for nine weeks. So he got his little award. He gave it to me to bring home. So I'm going to mount that and put it in the room. Oh, this is a little big. Is this a little big, darling? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You are so cute. I love this baby. Oh my goodness. I just love this baby. He's good and heavy. Yes, I do. Okay, so I put these little socks. Are y'all seeing? Uh-uh. Darn it. Right, let me turn you down just a little so I can hold her foot up. There we go. All right, let's put these on and see. I got these little clips on there. Hold the shoes together. And these are Velcro. It's kind of a can you see the little sparkles? Yeah, sparkly. <laughs> okay, let's see how this looks. You can see quite a bit of that, but that's the best sock I have, actually. What do you think? Oh, hold on, I'll show you. I have to keep looking at the camera to see what you're seeing. But, I tell you what, it sure films better when it's facing the right way, just like it is now, than the way I was doing it. I like it this way. Hope it looks better for y'all. Alright, there's that. Okay. Let's show them your shoes. We'll show you your shoes. See your little shoes? That look? i got to back up. Y'all are like really close. Can you see? I can't see what you're seeing, but we'll smush it down a little bit. Let's smush it down a little bit. So the green, there we go. There we go. What's that? What's that? That hair. Oh, 
here. We need to brush your hair. And I didn't bring the brush. So, this leg, this old straight leg you have. You know what? I'm going to sit you on this pillow. I'm going to sit her on this pillow. Is that better? Just don't fall backwards. Please don't fall backwards. Let's get that one. <laughs> Can you hug your head up? Can you hug your head up? Look how cute. You look so snuggly. Yes, he looks. I love this. So soft. He's so soft. He's so soft. All right. Is this it? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Stand up there. There you go. Okay. Well, uh, let me check my notebook here. Let's see. We got the twinning. CJ's birthday. Okay. Um... The reason I've been gone so long is my precious, precious mother-in-law. Let me see if my brush is in here. Excuse me. Oh, I got a toothbrush. Let's just use that. Okay. Let's just use this. There we go. All right. Um, she, uh complained um what is today friday last thursday last thursday so a week from yesterday she was complaining that her chest hurt and so she lives with my sister-in-law and she said well where does it hurt blah 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 anyway long story short she gets her to the hospital and they check her in. There we go. Now, let's put your head down. Oh, put your hair. Uh oh. How am I going to do this without knocking you down? Do you hear my husband? <laughs> I don't know what he's watching. Oh, look how pretty you are. Look how pretty you are. Oh, my goodness. We have to get some pictures of you. Ooh, you look so cute. Yes, you do. Can you say hi? Can you look at the camera and say hi? Hi. Oh, oh my goodness. Y'all, sorry. I have to get used to this. Readjusting the camera. I'm just not, I'm not used to having to do that. Okay, she's not quite right at you. There you go. Is that it? Let me see. Yep. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Anyway, um, she did. They did check. She had a heart attack, and they found that she had 100% blockage on one, 90% on the other. And like 60 on the other two. So they were going to do two stents. So the stent guy came the next day. We had to wait. She did fine. Um, everybody stayed with her. I couldn't go because my husband stayed overnight for several days. And it's just too much on me. So I didn't go yet. I was planning on going. Uh, let's see. Thursday. Saturday, Sunday. Okay, Monday was the planned planned surgery. Okay, so that was week before last. Yeah, because today's just Friday. Okay, week before last. Okay, and now we're into the next week, which was last week. Um, said that he couldn't do it. He needed to wait for the surgeon, may have to do bypass. So the surgeon came, planned the surgery for Monday and, uh, so she went in, they did the surgery. She was in ICU on Monday and Tuesday she woke up. Did she wake up? Yes. She woke up on Tuesday. And I was really groggy. So my husband and 
sister-in-law stayed in there with her and uh, the granddaughter in Missouri came all the way down. She drove after work all night long. Um, it's about an eight hour drive and she got there and the other one got there. It's about three and a half hour drive. So the whole family was there except me, guilt ridden. So uh, my husband came back home, got some rest because he couldn't sleep in the chair, very uncomfortable chair. And, um, well, you're just looking at her, huh? And I'm standing here. <laughs> Let's get your bunny back. Here's your bunny back, sweetie. Here's your bunny. Here's your bunny. Is that your bunny? She likes to hold this little satin part. My son always did. Here's your little satin part. Yeah, her likes that. He likes that. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> Say hi, Noah. Hi, Noah. Hi, my sister. Hi. Look, we match. Look at our dresses. They match. I got butterflies, too. Yes, I do. <laughs> this was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Let's put this diaper over there. Now we can open these socks back up. I gotta clean that sock. Okay, so um, I don't know if you want me to sit. Can you see me? I don't know if you can see me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, where was I? Uh, Tuesday she was talking, and my husband had got, was. Coming home, uh, I think, how did this go, or was it Monday? No, I think it was Tuesday, and he was driving home, his sister called and said, turn around, come back, there's been an accident. And they had put a breathing tube in to help her breathe, a heart pump in the artery in her leg. She did complain that her leg was really hurting. So that was terrible. Um, the artery collapsed and the pump I don't know if it fell out or what, but anyway, it was quite the tragedy. She lost a lot of blood and then they got it stopped and so my husband stayed in there. She was fine. He was falling asleep, so he decided to come on home and he'd come back. So he came home. Got a good night's sleep. They called us on Wednesday morning about 11 o'clock. And his cousin, who his mother practically raised, is like a son. And his sister and his granddaughters were all in there with her. And his cousin... Um, was holding her hand and praying with her and she took her last breath so last weekend we had her funeral everybody's doing fine the whole time she was in the hospital she was joking cutting up wanting to eat this that and the other and of course they'd go get it and she had a really good time and she was so happy to see the the granddaughter that was so far away and just having everybody together. And I was headed to come back that day, which we did. So um, we had the visiting on Saturday, funeral on Sunday, today's Friday. So we came home Monday. Yeah, Monday. Yeah. So anyway. She was very sweet. 
very sweet. The first time I met her, I thought, oh my goodness, what an angel. <laughs> what an angel this woman is. Oh my gosh, I love her. That was the very first time I met her. So sweet. And we had had fun. She would come stay with us for a week in the summer. And um, I have a record player. And I had my mom's records that were uh, old Elvis records and uh, Ever Everly Brothers, right? Um, I can't remember everybody, but we had so much fun. We would sing, laugh, clap, joke. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. She was very fun to be around. So she will be sorely missed. But everybody's doing good. The one that'll have the hardest time is going to be my sister-in-law. So her name is Lynn. If you want to keep her in your prayers, she did live with her. So there is going to be a big empty spot. And I know that's going to get hard the further time goes. But so far, she's doing fine. My husband's doing fine. He would call her three times a week on his way to work. He went to visit her um, every second weekend of the month, I think, or third. No, that's dad. I think she's second, second weekend of the month. He went every month, stayed with overnight, and kept her company. So, yeah, it'll hit him, too. So, anyway, that's where I've been with that. I wonder how far my video is. Let me look. 26 minutes. Okay, let's see what else. Okay. All right. What I've been doing the past three days, <laughs> I'm not even going to show you. Um, I'm trying to, I've got, I've got to, I've got to, I got to reduce my collection and my, my clothes. Um, I'm going to span you over. It's just too crowded. Let me, let me just kind of give you a little glimpse. Okay. So I'm going to take the camera off the tripod. Okay. So this is my corner. That's a corner of the wall. Those are all baby clothes down in that tall drawer. Oh, I left the drawer open. <laughs> ah, there's my stool. Oh, and that, I got one of those little cushions that, um, oh, shoot, what's her name? I'm sorry, is it Linda? On my cupcake. I'm sorry, I forgot. Anyway, she told us about those on Tamu. And it works great. Look, Archie's in it. Isn't that cute? Okay, whoops, there's Kinley. She's covered up. She's about to fall off. <laughs> okay, then we come to the window where I was. Let me show you my get up here. Of course, I can't move because now, oops, what did I knock over? Hold on. Let's see what I'm knocking over here. Okay, so then we go around the room this way. You got all those babies in there. Stack of clothes there. There's a car seat covered up. Here's my Katie Carol. She's in a high chair. All those babies. And there's my little, whoops, sorry, I'm trying to reach over. Uh huh. Okay. Those are closed in that stack. There's Nanny Alice. There's the rack of all of the babies and stuffies and toys. Goes all the way up there. Okay, and then we go down, and that's the cradle who houses four boys in there, four girls in there. That's the door. Hey, that's my wedding dress. <laughs> I married my husband. It's a size six. Isn't that nice? 15 years ago. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, and then the pram. We've got the silicone in there, a closet that's crammed with clothes. So you come in this door, you immediately run into the cradle, the pram, my husband's area, which is, now I gotta back up. I'm in the, in the little midst of the middle. His desk, gun safe, okay. That's all my stuff up there. Uh-huh. 
Okay, and that's just this room, y'all. That's not where we usually are. We're usually in the other room. Okay, I'm going to back up and show you how I have my light. Let me come over here between the pram. Headed towards the door. Okay, I got a plug over on this wall. Drag it over here to my magnifying light. Because those little suckers, they put out some good light. Well, it didn't work good on the floor. <laughs> so, I, I put it up on the chair. And I didn't have a place to sit, so I went and got my stool. So there's my stool. And I thought, okay, it, I don't know if you saw these books, but I wanted to read, I want to read this book. I didn't know if y'all want to read it with me. It's really good. 12 Extraordinary Women. How God Shaped Women of the Bible and What He Wants to Do with You. That sound good? I thought so. So I thought I'd read this and I didn't know if you want to read it with me. We still have to read this one. I want to read this one too. So I'm going to read this one. Cool, huh? So should I just keep going on this video? Marisol talks for an hour. <laughs> or do you want me to make another video and read a story? I want to just carry on. So... If you don't want to hang around, that's okay. I understand. It's long and you don't have time to look at everybody's videos. But I do know that there are some out there that are busy working and can listen. So I'm going to um, um, sit on this stool. Let me put this back on the tripod because I can't function holding it. Okay, I have to be careful not to push it on the buttons because the emergency thing comes up. They did that to me. I'm not hanging up real fast. Excuse me. <laughs> Hope you can hear me. I'm close to the phone, so hopefully... I keep forgetting the microphone. Oh, yeah. Duh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I forgot the microphone. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to just pull my chair or my little stool. I'm going to put it over here and um, let's see Whoop. let me put this down so I'll be able to show you the pictures okay so you got Betsy and me right I don't know how high I sit but I don't even know what I look like okay let me get a drink Okay, I'm gonna lose my book. Did I cover everything? Oh, one more thing, one more thing I forgot. See, I got my notes. Um, there is an upcoming Easter Swap Hop that I joined with Mel at Living It GG Ma Style. G Living It GG Ma Style. Her name is Mel, and we've swapped outfits for the dolls that we want to use for the Easter hop swap. <laughs> and that's supposed to be, I think we're supposed to have our videos up April 3rd. I'm going to have to recheck that, which is just a couple days. And then we'll open our packages and dress our dollies. So that'll be fun. All right. I covered all of that. Now let's read this. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I got a squeaky stool. I don't know if you can see me. Okay, the wind in the willows. Let's go and start chapter one. Chapter one, the riverbank. I wonder, I don't know if I can do it like, um, I can't think of her name. The mole had been working very hard all morning, spring cleaning his little home. First with brooms, then with rags, then with a brush and a pail of whitewash. Spring was moving in, in the air above, filtering down even to his dark little house beneath the soil. It was no wonder then that he suddenly flung down his brush and said, Hang spring cleaning. Something in the air above was calling to him. He hurried out of the house through a steep little tunnel, muttering, Up we go, up we go, till at last pop. 
his snout came out into the sunlight and he found himself rolling in the warm meadow. Ah, this is fine, he said to himself. Better than whitewashing for sure. He scampered across the sunny meadow till he reached the edge on the far side. It all seemed too good to be true. Hither and thither through the meadows he rambled, busily finding birds building, flowers budding, leaves thrusting, and instead of feeling badly for not doing his work, he somehow felt jolly. After all, the best part of the day off is not so much resting yourself, but to see everyone else busy working. He thought his happiness was complete, when suddenly he stood by the edge of the flowing, sparkling river. He had never seen a river before. He sat down enchanted. Let me show you the picture. You can see. I hope you're seeing this. <laughs> okay. A dark hole in the opposite bank, just above the water's edge, caught his eye. Something bright twinkled down in the heart of it. Then, as he looked, it winked at him and so declared itself to be an eye. A small face appeared, a brown face with whiskers, a round face with a twinkle in his eye, with small neat ears and thick silky hair. It was the water rat. The two animals stood and eyed each other. Hello, mole, said the water rat. Hello, rat, said the mole. Would you like to come over? asked the rat. Oh, it's all very well to talk, said the mole from across the flowing river. The rat said nothing but untied a rope and pulled on it and then lightly stepped into a little blue boat. It was just the size for two animals. The rat rowed rapidly across, tied up the boat and held out a paw to the mole. Soon the mole found himself actually seated in the back of a real boat. This has been a wonderful day, said Mole. Do you know, I've never been in a boat before. What, cried the rat, open mouth. It's the only thing. Believe me, my young friend, there's nothing, absolutely nothing, like simply messing about in boats. Simply messing. He went on dreamily, messing about in boats. Look ahead, rat, cried the Mole suddenly. Uh, it was too late. The boat struck the opposite bank full force. The rat landed on his back at the bottom of the boat, his heels in the air. He picked himself up with a pleasant laugh. Oh, yes, there's nothing like a day in the boat. Look here. If you've got no other plans this morning, supposing we drop down the river together and have a long day of it. I'll show you the picture. <laughs> Let me just check. Let's see what you Okay. <laughs> this little boat, there's the mole and the rat and the river, the dragonfly. And the mole's pointing across the river. The mole wiggled his toes and leaned back on the cushions. Oh, what a day I'm having, he said. Let us start at once. Hold on a minute, the rat slipped into the hole in the bank and returned with a lunch basket. What's inside, asked the mole. A picnic. There's cold chicken, replied the rat. Cold ham, pickle rolls, some... Wait a minute. <laughs> Look. Let me see what you're saying. Look at this word. Cold ham, pickles, rolls, lemonade, and ginger ale. That's all one word. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, I can't turn that way. Let me see how fast I can say it. Cold ham, pickles, rolls, lemonade, ginger ale. Oh, stop, cried the mole. This is too much. You must think me very rude, but all this is new to me. So this is a river. The river, corrected the rat as he rode. It's my world and I don't want any other. But isn't it a bit dull at times, the mole asked, dragging a paw in the water. Just you and the river and no one else to pass a word with? Dull, asked the rat patiently. Never. The bank is so crowded nowadays that many people are moving away altogether. All day long, there's always someone wanting you to do something. 
What lies over there? asked the mole, waving a paw toward a woodland that darkly framed the water meadows on one side of the river. Oh, that's just the wild wood, said the rat. We river bankers don't go there. So that's what the mole was pointing at. <clears throat> aren't they, aren't they very nice people in there? asked the mole a bit nervously. Well, replied the rat, let me see. The squirrels are all right, and the rabbits, some of them. And then there's Badger, dear old Badger. Of course, there are others. Weasels, stoats, and foxes. Uh, they're all right in their way, but you can't really trust them, and that's the fact. And beyond the wild wood, asked the mole. Beyond the wild wood comes the wide world, said the rat. I've never been there, and I'm never going. Neither will you, if you've got any sense. Now then, let's have lunch. The rat brought the boat alongside the bank, tied the boat, and helped Mole safely ashore. Mole excitedly shook out the tablecloth and arranged the lunch, saying, Oh my, oh my. After they had eaten a little, Rat asked the Mole, What are you looking at? I am looking, said the Mole, at a streak of bubbles traveling along the surface of the water. A broad glistening nose showed itself above the bank, and the otter hauled himself out. Greedy beggars, he said. Why didn't you invite me, Ratty? <laughs> it's peeking over the hill. <laughs> we got quite a spread there. <laughs> this was an unplanned event, explained the rat. By the way, my friend, Mr. Mole, pleased to meet you, I'm sure, said the otter. There was a rustle behind them coming from a hedge and a stripy head with high shoulders behind it peered out at them. Come on, old badger, shouted the rat. The badger turned his back and disappeared. That's just the sort of fellow he is, said the rat, disappointed. Stays to himself. Well, tell us, otter, who is out on the river? Toad's out for one, replied the otter in his new wager boat. Wager boat? New outfit, new everything. The two looked at each other and laughed. First he took to sailing, said the rat. Then it was flat bottom boats. Last year it was house boating. Now a wager boat. Wagger boat? Wager. W-A-G-E-R. He gets tired of one thing and starts something new. No stability, remarked the otter wisely. Just then a wager boat flashed into view. The rower, a short, stout fellow, splashed badly and rocked a good deal. The rat stood up and called to him, but Toad, for it was he, shook his head. He'll be out of the boat in a minute, said Rat. The otter chuckled and then slipped away. <laughs> Look at that Toad. <laughs> That's Toad. He's got his feet in the air. He's got a hat on. <laughs> so that's a wager boat. Looks like a canoe to me. Yeah, wager. It says W-A-G-E-R right there. W-A-G-E-R. Hmm. Wager boat. Never heard of that. I suppose we ought to be moving on, said the rat. I wonder which of us had better pack the lunch basket. Oh, please, let me, said the mole, which he did. The afternoon sun was getting low as the rat rode gently homeward, murmuring poetry things over to himself. The mole shouted with delight, Ratty, please, I want to row. Wait till you've had a few lessons. The mole, without comment, jumped up and grabbed the oars. The rat was taken by surprise and fell backward off his seat with his legs in the air for the second time. Stop it, you silly freak cake, cried the rat. You'll have us over. The mole flung the oars back and missed the water altogether. His legs flew up and he found himself lying on top of the upended rat. Then over went the boat. Oh, my, how cold the water was to Mole. Oh, how very wet it felt. It sang in his ears as he went down, down. Then a firm paw gripped him by the back of his neck. The rat pulled the helpless animal to shore, hauled him out, and set him down on the bank. A squishy, plump, lump misery. <laughs> oh, my goodness.
Last page. The rat rubbed the mold down a bit and laughed, saying, Now then, old fella, trot up and down the bank as hard as you can till you're warm and dry again while I dive for the basket. When rat had brought everything up, the mole took his seat in the back of the boat. Ratty, I'm so sorry. Will you let things go on as before? Ah, what's a little wet to a water rat, responded the rat. I really think you would enjoy visiting with me for a time. My home is plain, but I could teach you to row and swim. Soon you'll be as handy as we river bankers. The mole humbly accepted. When they got to the rat's home, the rat told the mole river stories till supper time. But very shortly afterward, a terribly sleepy mole had to be led upstairs to the guest bedroom where he soon fell fast asleep. This day was only the first of many similar ones for Mole. As spring and summer moved on, he learned to swim and to row, and with his ear to the river reeds, he often could hear what the wind whispered among them. There we go. That's chapter one. And then chapter two is the open road. So we'll pick up later with that. And then I'm going to do a different video for that other book about the women. So, if you hung with me, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the story. Um, I'm not sure how often we'll do that. We have to do it kind of often or I'll forget the story. So, anyway, Betsy says, love you all. Thanks for coming to visit with us. Sweet Noah, we love you. Big hugs and kisses. And we will see you all on the next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.